Hello and uh, welcome friends. This will be a short video on uh, how to clean your uh, vintage uh, fountain pens with uh, the aromatic type uh, filling mechanism. For uh, example, I will um, use this Hero G from the 1980s. It has this, um, this cap and uh, of course you see in my videos but we unscrew the grip section here and let's focus okay and it reveals this transparent plastic uh, part similar to the Parker 51 we also unscrew the barrel okay we have this protective uh, metal part. We gently pull it out, simple. And we are re we remain with this parts. Okay. Now we simply pull the part and we remain with um, the tube and the grip section and with this sack so this sack is uh, quite easy to to clean i will use a syringe be careful of, of the needle I also have a glass of water here. I will simply, you can see some water. Now I insert the needle, be careful with the needle and just insert it on the sack. Be careful not to perforate the sack. Now, I will try to, I will put the glass of water here and um, I hope that you can see. Okay, gently push the syringe and it will fill the sack with water. You can see the water. And now I will uh, discard the water in um, the glass. I gently squeezed all the water from the syringe. Now you can see that the sack holds water, yes? You can uh, gently squeeze the sack and all the water will uh, come out of it. If, um, and in my case, it remains a little bit on the bottom and I simply reinsert the needle Oops, so you can see that I inserted the needle and now I gently pull the syringe and it draws it of the water, excess water. The excess water I will put back in the glass. You can see that uh, it remains some water in the sack. I um, Squeeze the sack like this and the water pours right um, in. This is the sack. It ends here and uh, it, could, it could be easily replaced. Of course, if it isn't broken, I want to recommend removing it from this uh, plastic part. We remained um, with uh, this part. And um, if you are quite gentle, you can see that the syringe enters this tube. So, look at it. It enters this tube. You don't have to push it all the way. But again, we go to the water cup. I've drawn some water in the syringe. And now 
I will simply reinsert it. Be very careful because this part is a delicate part. You have to be... Yes. So now it's inserted. Okay, you can see it. I will push some more gently, some water. Let it be full. Look. And it will come out of this side. You can see now. And uh, it is a good way to clean your fountain pen. Now I will uh, put it um, over the glass. So after that, you gently remove the needle and it's all done. Of course, you can remove also the um, gently the nib and the feed. You simply grab it and you see that it remains this part and you can clean it. This is the beautiful small little feed and here we have the steel nib of the fountain pen. I hope that um, it was a useful lesson to you. I will show you how to put it back on. So be careful because these parts are very, very delicate parts. We simply align the back of the nib with the feed and yes it's good like this then we hold it like this we reinsert it here we gently push it and that's it you don't have to push hard because the, uh, those are delicate parts and now we simply insert it here and that's it it's quite um, simple and um, easy to do this now we are putting back the protection the metallic protection you can uh, gently rotate it okay when you put it back on we squeeze we see that uh, the water still remains but it's uh, no problem okay now we unscrew back the cap but there is a secret to to it so you can see that when i put it back on here it doesn't align with the end of the grip so just remember the position and simply try to grab it and gently rotate it let's see if i've done a, a good job almost perfect no you can see that it's not perfectly aligned so just a little 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 bit over this side let's see now Yes, it is aligned and now it is aligned, but you can see that um, that it, um, it went too far. So um, 
let's see now maybe i can push it some more gently push it so it is well aligned but let's see if it goes hmm no it reached a dead end okay now it's perfectly aligned okay i simply put a barrel back on and this is it you have to bear in mind that uh, for uh, this specific type of filling mechanism that is present also on the parker 51 uh, of course on the parker 51 is much more difficult to clean the sack because you can't simply remove it like the chinese fountain pens but on this particular sack um, it is quite difficult to change the colors of your ink that's why i prefer the piston fillers don't get me wrong the aromatic system is a good system but when it comes to clean it it needs a lot of work this is another chinese fountain pen this is from a youth 400 which has similar similar features like the hero g model but i can't remove the sack part i have to figure how to disassemble this model i hope you've enjoyed my small uh, video in which i try to show you how um, to clean your vintage chinese fountain pens with the, the aerometric filling uh, mechanism as always I wish you a good day and uh, see you around at uh, the next episode. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.